Good morning, YouTubers out there, gardeners all over the world. This is Angel bringing you another video. This is on uh, what is growing on month of March. Today is Sunday. If I'm not mistaken, it's the 17th of March. I may be wrong. Correct me. Uh, anyways, this is what I'm what is going on in my backyard. As you can see, this is my um, uh, nectar tree. It's been on the ground ever since I moved into this mobile home, probably about eight years now. And now um, I've been, I pruned it really heavily last year, and I'm glad I did so because um, we really needed it. And as um, some recommendations on YouTube, other gardeners, to try to uh, manage uh, your trees, um, make sure they are uh, reachable that you can reach uh, the fruit and also to um, clear the uh, the center that way they can get some nice airflow I don't point I'm not gonna point the camera to the uh, to the sky because uh, it's, it's too bright right now but uh, take a look at the trunk uh, this is how a tree uh, sh uh, sh should be uh, pruned nice and clear in the center and and if I can reach up, I'm a 5'8", so um, that's going to be the uh, maximum height of this uh, uh, tree. Um, I started a new uh, raised bed, raised beds uh, in 2000, the end of 2018. As you can see, um, I'm already starting to uh, to see the uh, some good results uh, all those little leaves that you see those are carrots i'm not gonna be growing carrots in this uh, raised bed i just threw a, a whole bunch of seed uh, just to see what would happen and sure enough the uh, soil is nice and rich the only thing that i'm gonna leave here is the um, uh, sugar snap peas they're gonna be climbing up this trellis right here uh, let's see what else we have on the other side of the yard. Oh, hello. oh look at this. Uh, this is, uh, I'm growing, uh, what do I got here? Those are, that's garlic. And to the right, right here, this is my uh, flower bed. In about a month or so, there's going to be so much, so much flowers. This raised bed, the uh, California poppy on the right side, bunch of flowers. This little purple flower, I don't know how we got here. And this is another rice bed that I'm, uh, that I prepped. This is where I'm, I'm gonna be growing all my beans. As you can see, they're gonna be climbing up my, my neighbor's uh, fence. Another rice bed where I'm gonna be growing. They look pretty sad right now because they just got transplanted. But that, my friends, it's um, for the first time. I'm gonna be growing um, celery for the first time. Sorry about that noise. This is another raised bed um, that I just incorporated into the yard. I built it toward the end of 2018. And the same thing. I drew a whole bunch of uh, carrot seeds just to give it a test and good results. Rich, rich soil. And it didn't cost me very much because I um, I used very cheap uh, soil from uh, Lowe's and I mixed it with um, uh, steer manure. And I just let it sit for about the, bit. the uh, steer manure mixed with some cheap soil has been sitting here for about four months four or five months and uh, that way when you uh, are ready to use it it doesn't burn your plants just my recommendation because I'm cheap another bed right here where I'm gonna be growing uh, where I transplanted my uh, kohlrabi and as you can see it's doing really good and right next to it uh, sugar snap peas that's gonna be climbing up this trellis the chicken wire you can see here in about a month or so I should be able to um, eat that delicious kohlrabi
Now, this uh, tire uh, race beds right here are doing pretty good. Uh, look at all that growth that we got because of the rain. Nice weather up here, high desert. I don't know what I'm gonna be, um, what I'm gonna do with all that. With all this, uh, very soon I'm gonna have to empty uh, these uh, pots and make room for my tomatoes. So um, they're gonna have to say goodbye. That is uh, Detroit uh, root beets right there. Um, see a whole bunch of kale. Yeah, they're just gonna have to be uh, turned into into compost. Got more garlic in this um, pot right here. And look at that. This garlic is super healthy. I've been uh, uh, using um, uh, fish uh, fertilizer and uh, good results. Uh, you guys should buy that uh, fish fertilizer. Um, you can buy a, a gallon for like $25. And uh, all you gotta do is just mix a tablespoon for every two gallons of water and um, I think it's it's a good idea it's a good method because it's cheap uh, it's organic it doesn't burn your seedlings and uh, you can um, and it's good results using um, fish fertilizer 2019 it's gonna be really good for um, sugar snap peas as you can see, this is another raised bed where I threw a bunch of seed. A lot of these, um, I started it from seed inside my grow tent, but there's really no need for that. Um, if you can just uh, drop the seed on, on, the, on the ground. Um, sugar snaps, if you planted them, planted the, if you sow the seed at the right time, they just take off like crazy. But it was just an experiment. But uh, yes, nonetheless, I'm going to have plenty of uh, sugar snaps uh, this year. To the left here, another raised bed that is growing along the uh, side of my house where I have that, all that, all of this right here is uh, volunteer, volunteer uh, sugar snaps from last year um, after I cleared all my uh, raised beds. Um, a lot of the plants, they still have some pods in them and uh, full of seed. I didn't realize it. And now I got sugar snaps growing like crazy all over the place. I've been harvesting rainwater, as you can see. Uh, I covered it. I don't want any dirt or anything to go in to get mixed with it. Uh, recommendation, get yourself some barrels, some drums. Put them right next to your gutter and harvest all that water. Because... Um, that's the water that I use on my, for my seedlings and plants that I have in pots. I don't just, um, I don't waste it. I, I save all, all my uh, rainwater for all my um, potter plants. To the right here, um, a bunch of different plants that I saved. Um, on the right here, I have, a, I still have lots of um, kale we got more uh, celery on the right and that plant right there inside that uh, plastic is an avocado i already removed the uh, plastic a couple days ago uh, and bad news i don't think that avocado uh, tree uh, survived uh, the uh, cold winter because uh, it's pretty dry i cut it in half because uh, half the tree was dead but the uh, bottom part still looks green, so we'll see uh, if it comes back. This little tree right here is a, um, uh, I think it's, an, I'm not really sure if it's a nectarine or a peach tree. But it's a volunteer tree that I see, the, uh, I see the, that I dropped, so we'll see if it makes it. <laughs> 